blessing us with the gift of a grace, which is a revelation. The blessing of it is finished, God. What is the land, God? What is the land that was crucified? Thank you for it is finished, Father. Spirituality, there is a standard. 
When Jesus finished everything, he declared, he made a declaration on the cross, it is finished. And this is a standard of, of divinity. This is a standard of divinity. Remove the bad, the best. The best of this. Yeah. Uh, this is the standard. The standard of divinity is it is finished. There is a scripture that says that which is Philippians chapter 2 from verse from verse 10 to 11. It says every new shall bow. Every new shall bow. And every tongue shall confess the Lord. Every new shall bow, every tongue shall confess Jesus the Lord. I want you to understand something this evening. There is a standard that has been set, set, the kingdom standard that every knee will bow to. The Lordship of Jesus is not about the person of Jesus, it's about the finished work of Jesus. Amen. Every knee, everything will bow to the finished work. If you understand this, it will you automatically take you away from religion, it will automatically take you away from Everything that is happening, everything, humanity, and everything in it will bow to, to the finished work of Jesus. When you look at that word, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. The Lordship of Jesus, the Lordship of Jesus is, it is finished. Jesus came and established a standard, and this standard has begun already. The kingdom of God has already begun. It began on the cross. It began 2,000 years ago. You know, the standard of Jesus, it is finished. It's a standard. There is a law that is greater than every other law. The Bible said the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. There are laws, but there is a higher law. There is a higher law that swallows up every other law. There is, this, this law is a law of it is finished, you know. They, there are these people that preach grace. There are, this, there are some people that misinterpret the teaching of grace. And they think that the, the grace destroys the law. In, to, to bring you into lawlessness. Not knowing that grace is a higher law. It's a law of itself that destroys the, the lesser law. Do you get me? The grace is the law of liberty. Grace is the law of freedom. The, the, the law of Moses is the law of condemnation. It's just like someone was condemned. The, in, 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 in this uh, judiciary, there is a, a high law, high court, or the high supreme court. You know, when, I don't know about this nation, but when you go to a high court and the, the, the judge condemns you, you you do and uh, you 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 re reapply for the stuff for the supreme court, and the, the the supreme court justifies you. It will destroy the the judgment of the lower law. Do you get me? So there is laws of life. There is a law. So we can repeat. There is a law of karma, there is a law, all this, but there is a higher law. There is a law of the spirit of life in Christ that has made us free from the law of sin and death. The, the law of sin and death was the greatest law, the, the, great, the highest law before Jesus came. The greatest law, no matter whatever you do, you are going to death. The destiny of man was death. The, 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 the disobedience of Adam brought man under the captivity of death. No matter how you are, you are under the system of death. You are condemned by the law. Jesus came and established the law. The law of grace. So from today, I want you to understand, grace is a law. Grace is not a grace is a law that destroys the, the, the lower law. It's a law of life that destroys the law of death. Amen. It's a law of liberty. It's a law that looks at you and says, Go, I, I, I condemn you not. No, look at what happened. Just look at what happened. A woman was caught by the Pharisees and Sadducees and they brought, him, they brought her to Jesus. And everyone condemned the woman to death. I want you to get this, my 
family. There is a higher law, there is a standard, there is a divinity standard, which is it is finished. The, the whole community condemned this woman to death. The, 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 even the law of Moses condemned the woman to death because those people quoted the law to Jesus. They, they, they said, Jesus, the law of Moses said that this woman should be stoned. What do you say? Sorry. What do you say? Jesus looked at her and said, I condemn you not. Go and sin no more. He said, I condemn you not. You know, and his, 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 his word is a law. His word is a, because he's a king. Every word of a king is a law. Every word of a king. So the, the law of Moses condemned her, but the law of Jesus set her free. That was what happened on the cross. Freedom has already happened to you. From every captivity, you have been free. When Jesus said it is finished, Jesus said, Jesus, now the same thing Jesus said to that woman, I condemn you not. Go and sin no more. Go. Sin no more. There are a lot of things to say on that scripture. But they just keep pressing me, pick it up. He said, when he said it, you go and sin no more. Because it was empowered. Jesus empowered that over. Over sin, Jesus lifted her away from the reign of death, sin into life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. It was, go and sin no more was not a commandment, it was an empowerment. It was an empowerment. Praise God. That is amazing. The, the, the divine life, divine life standard is it is finished. I want you to I want you to know this. Every new shabbat. When you read this scripture that says every name shall bow and every tongue shall confess Jesus. Sorry, this is the future of this world. This is the future of, of, this, of this world. This is the future. There are many scriptures to read to you. The, God told Jesus, says, sit at my right hand and I make all your enemies to be at your, to be under your feet. Yeah. The, the cross, the, 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 the kingdom of Jesus has been established and it is overpowering. Every nail shall bow to the finished work of Jesus. What nail is about? Religion is already bowing. Religion is already bowing. Religion is already, that is why I say you should come out from there. There is no more life. Religion is already bowing. Religion is already bowing. You know, humanity is now is now frustrating, but both religion and, and, and our humanity is, 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 is bowing. The world has bowed to coronavirus. Yeah. The world has bowed to coronavirus. You know, the, 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 the strength of men are failing them. Every knee shall bow to it is finished. God is not running, God is not running away from this world. Oh, he said, upon this rock I shall build my church, yeah. and the gates of hell shall not be there. God is not the, the church. I want you to change the mindset that God is coming to rescue his children from this world. No, the world belongs to God. The light will overpower darkness. He said, he said the light shines upon darkness, and darkness overpowers it. Light is the stand that Jesus has set. Every new shall bow to it. It is yeah. finished. Amen. Every Satan is in every religion. Yes. Everything. Every new shall bow. The future of this world uh, it will come to a point. It will come to a point where every new shall bow. Shall recognize it is finished. Yes. Every new they have already bowed to us. Every devil in our lives has bowed to it is finished. Yes. Like, no, we are not in the realm of no devil. Amen. Our, the light is shining. The Jesus from the cross, Jesus began the light. He turned on the light. And the light is shining. The light is shining. And it's going to overshadow the world. The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the future of the world. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Your, it's the standard of heaven. The standard of it is finished. Your kingdom come, your will be on earth. Yeah. A standard has been set. A standard has been set on the cross. And God is opening our eyes to see it. God is opening our eyes. This the generation, the, this 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 the, this new beginning generation. Because I don't want to, I want from today, I want you to change the mindset. Change the mindset that you are the last, you are the last generation. Okay? Change the mindset that you are you are, you are in end time. End time. 
please, if you, if you didn't understand what I mean, just talk about, don't worry, rest in your spirit. End time, the end time, the world is talking about happened on the cross. Amen. The end of the system of death. Yes. Wow. Awesome. The, end, the end of the old covenant. Yes. You know, the new world is a, is a, is a new covenant. It's a, it's, a, it's a system of life. The system of it is finished. Jesus came. The system of Christ and his church has begun from the, the resurrection of Christ. Praise God. So when, when the Bible come, talks about the end time, the end time was the end of death, the end of sin, the end of a reign of an Adamic nature. Do you get that? And that happened on the cross. Religion thinks that end time is ahead of death, or is, is they are in the end. You are not in the end time. You are in the, in the new world. I want you to. So you don't have to say this thing. We, the, the end time generation, we, we, we experience the glory of God. No, the end time is behind us. You see, what you have to say is we, the new, the new beginning, the new generation, the, the new world generation. The new world generation are going to see the glory of the, the finished world of Christ. Wow. A reign of no death, no devil, no curse. Now, I was teaching you on Sunday, Jesus, Jesus told them, he said, look at the beds on the earth. No, there's a standard in my head. John is understanding this message. Now, can you get me? When you start understanding the message, everything means a lot. That is one thing. When I'm listening to my, this message of my house, I, I jump. Everything means a lot. Look at the, Jesus said, look at the beds on the earth. That is a new kingdom Jesus was introducing to them. Look at the beds on the earth. They saw not, no, they reap not. Do not they do they gather in, in bounds, right? And your heavenly father takes care of them. So that is a higher realm. The, the, the beds of the earth is are operating the highest realm of life, the kingdom standard realm. The realm beyond sowing and reaping. The humanity is in the realm of sowing and reaping, but the, the, the beds are in the kingdom realm of life. Because what you hear from Sowing and reaping. Sowing and reaping. Oh boy. Jesus said, Look, behold the beds of the earth. They sow not, they reap not. They don't gather in the barn, but your heavenly father takes care of them. A ring of all of God and not of them. That is the kingdom Jesus, Jesus came to establish. You know, in the level of religion, you know, some of you, we are, we are still there. The, the realm of religion, sowing and reaping, whatever you sow, you reap. That is that, 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 is that realm. There is a king that is a, that is a higher realm. Okay, and the realm of grace is a realm where you say that Jesus has reaped all that you sow. And now you are not reaping all that Jesus, you know, has sowed for you. So, but the, the, you know that was, you are in the realm of reaping. Okay, that is the, you are in the realm of reaping. You are not going in the realm of sowing. Jesus sowed everything. And the name of the big good things, no, but Jesus said, the best of the earth, the soul not, they reap not. So is this is is higher than sowing? Okay, if it is higher than reaping, reaping, we are the, the, the kingdom realm is not a realm of reaping, it's a realm of it is finished. Amen. But the sowing, the reaping are finished. Amen. You are in the realm of it is finished. All of God and none of many things. The Lord is my shepherd. The shepherd does everything for the sheep. The Lord is my shepherd. All things fall in place for me. The kingdom standard is it is finished for me. Any scripture you read that is below the standard of it is finished is not the word of God. Any preaching you hear that is below the any revelation you have, any dream you have, any visitation that comes to you that is below. This is the standard of the kingdom. Yeah. So this is a way to wear how to wear everything. This is a way to test everything to know if it is of God or not. It is so sad to know that religion is in the familiar spirit. Religion is the the, 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 the church you see out there has a religious spirit. That is what they prophesy. It. They are in the reign of death. They are in the reign of death. That is why they can. There is a reign of life. 
the, the church, you see out there, humanity is in the realm, religion is in the realm of life and death, light and darkness, God and devil. It's a rain, it's a fallen natural rain. It's a fallen natural rain, good and bad. It's a fallen natural rain. Do you get me? Let me concentrate on you because you're getting it this time. God told God, look, there was a tree in the Garden of Eden. That tree was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And that tree is the tree of death. So the tree of death is not a tree of evil. It's a tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is religion. Yes. This is good. Do me. This is bad. This is that was the tree of knowledge. That was the that is it. That is death, the tree of death. A realm here that is good and that is bad, that is right, that is wrong, that is God, that is devil, that is man, that is... So, but until the realm of God alone, the tree of life, where is life alone? There is it's not a place of life and death, but life alone. It's not a place of living and so it's the life of God alone. See, it's the life where you are living on the account of Jesus. All right, your life is in God's Jesus account. Your life, just like your, I don't know how to describe this. Your life is completely in Jesus account. Jesus' life is your life. Jesus' blessing is your blessing. Just like someone gave you his card, his uh, his book card to just use. Remember, but it's a, it's a very it's a very limitation to what I'm telling you right now. Someone giving you his book card. No, your your life is in Jesus. Now Jesus. Ah, let me, let me tell you. you have no righteousness. Your righteousness, Jesus' righteousness has become your righteousness. So I live in God's righteousness. You are, I live in God's wisdom. And Jesus' destiny is my destiny. Now when you get this, you understand because religion think that I don't know my tomorrow, I don't know if I die, where am I going to? But you understand that Jesus is your destiny. You understand that where Jesus is, is where you're going to be. Amen. It's where you are right now, is where you're going to be. Amen. Amen. So the kingdom standard, divine life standard, is it is finished. The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word will not pass away. Which word is it talking about? Is it talking about the Bible? No, it's talking about it is finished. It's talking about Christ Jesus. It is finished. Is a, this eternity kingdom of God that has been established by Jesus on the cross, and everything, every knee will bow to it. Every knee, every tongue will confess to it. So, what do you do? What do you do? You bring in every situation. This is today's our rest prayer. That is how to pray. You bring, you bring every situation under the standard of it. Under the standard of it is finished. Dear sickness, bring it under it is finished. Boy, this is this thing I'm teaching you is not just a teaching, it's a life. There's something I have placed on that it is finished. There's something I have placed on that it is finished. They told you that you have a spiritual problem, everybody in your family has cancer, everybody in your family has this, it's gonna happen to you. Place that on day. Every knee we bow to this. There is a law that every knee bows. There is a law that every knee bows. Every will, every knee bows to it is finished. So place that on the finished work. That is prayer. That is prayer. Place that condition on the finished work. Just leave it. Just play, play. Introduce a higher law on it. Introduce a higher law to it. This is reality, this is practicality, this is what is happening. This is, I, I was walking, I was going, I was strolling somewhere this afternoon. I just knew, I just blessed it. Boy, I want you to get this. It says, every knee shall bow. I said, as I mentioned the name Jesus, every knee bows. And every tongue confess Jesus has loved. What does it mean? It is finished. Boy, as the mention, as, as the establishment of it is finished. Every, apart from that, I want to tell you, the standard has already been set. Every knee will bow to it. The future of 
this world is bowing to it is finished. Everything, religion, humanity, worldliness. I was telling them the other day that some of you are running away, running out of religion into worldliness. We'll be tired of worldliness too. You'll be so, you'll be too so worldly, you'll be so tired. The, the thing is, the religion has denied us enough and all these religions. Uh, you'll be, and these people will be thinking, all these religious people will say, look at people are just from being so worldly, so worldly, everybody, the world is burning. No, let me tell you, they will be tired of worldliness. They will be, they will be, uh, if they give you, if they, you, uh, if, uh, if, if they give you smoke, you will not smoke anymore. If they give you, they will be tired of worldliness. Yeah. Okay. They will be, every knee will bow, every day, including religion and worldliness, every knee will bow to it is finished, to the standard, to the kingdom that Jesus has established. He said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, he said, the kingdom, the, 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 he said, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Jesus came with the government. He said, upon this kingdom, there shall be no end. There is no end to this kingdom. That Jesus has established on the cross. He has already begun. Religion is waiting for it on, on, on in future. He has already begun. Every new prophetic. This prophetic realm, I was talking with John yesterday. It's been crushed. It's been crushed in this in Namibia, in this window. You know, all these things are facing away. People are tired of religion and they are going to the world and they will be tired of worldliness. Everything, there is a standard, divine life standard, is, it is finished. So family, this is the touch light you have to use. This is the app you have to work with. It is finished. This is the standard. This is the standard you have to bring everything. You see, you search everything with the rain of it is finished. That is how to know where yeah, God is. Where yeah, God is not. God is not. God is. God can never be below the rain of it is finished. Where yeah, God is, the standard of it is finished. Amen. If any 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 rain below this is not God, it's religion. It's familiar spirit. It's religious spirit. Religious spirit is a spirit of it is not finished. A spirit, a spirit of it is not finished. A spirit that can still see devil and see this and see that because there is a realm where the devil does not exist. A realm called Christ. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. Jesus ended a, a new, an old world and established a new world. His name, and the name is Christ. The devil does not exist. Who does not exist in Christ? There was one lady that I was talking on, on the phone the other day. She sent to music, so she said so she went to the studio, one of the popular church here that has a studio to record. And the pastor walked into the place because she does worldly music. The pastor said, You are you devil. You evil. And today, now, she's turning into becoming a child of God. So, I made her to understand that <laughs> it wasn't the Spirit of God that spoke through the pastor. Yeah. It's the religious spirit. Yeah. And the pastor can only speak based on, you, you speak based on who you are. Yeah. You speak based on who you are, the level of, see, I, was, I made her to understand that when I was a little child, I used to do healing worship experience. A guy, his name is, today his name is Pastor Precious. And it's precious. It's not pastor. That it's not. It's it's it's, it's, not, it's not. It's precious. He was. He's not. He wasn't a pastor. He was playing for me a keyboard. God opened my eyes and saw that this guy is not just a keyboard. The keyboard is is a pastor. So the spirit of the New Testament, the spirit of it is finished. That is what the New Testament is. It's a spirit that will not we see beyond the evil and see God in it. When you look at. When you look at darkness, you see light. Okay. When you look at that, that girl that is singing worldly song, had they been, I looked at, you know, God will open your eyes to see his own will and purpose over that child. Amen. 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 What, what is the old word, family? The, the, the old covenant. The old covenant. The new word is the new testament. The new covenant. The spirit of Christ alone. Today is rest prayer. 
every knee bows and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. It is finished is the kingdom of God that has come, that has come and it will swallow humanity. He has already come. The kingdom that the world is expecting. If I didn't mean, if if not that I didn't put you on the script that the scripture wanted us to read right now, but it's fine. The reign of Jesus began from the cross. He established his kingdom spiritually upon humanity. And this kingdom is the finished work. And this kingdom of God is we establish we swallow everything. When I see tomorrow, I see the glory. The glory of God as the as the world is getting darker right now, I see that evil is 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 it's all over. You know that there's, a, that there's a scripture that says that when darkness covers the world and gross darkness covers the world, he said, We shall shine. He said, You shall shine. He said, Arise and shine for your light has come. You shall shine. So the darkness of the world, when, they, when, when all these things are just like it, God is bringing them together to put them off. The kingdom of it is finished. We swallow everything. We swallow humanity. So what do you do as a rest generation? This is how to pray. You bring 2022, but that is time that it is finished. Look at 2022. You bring it under the standard, under divinity standard. That is prayer. You look at all through the week. You look at the situation that is happening to you. I want us to read this scripture. I want us to read this scripture. I want to just do, just, I just want to rush everything. I just want us to read this scripture right now. All right. The kingdom of men is it. It's, the realm of it is not finished. But I want us to read this scripture right now. Let's read 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 3. Five. Uh, so when you see people who who go to the mountains, you see people that are not living in the kingdom life. You see people that are not living under the system, under the standard of the kingdom. You see people that are living under the realm of it. Finish me. You see people will, as this January comes, they start praying fast, you know, 21 days fasting, 23 days fasting, 40 days. You see people, men in the realm of it is not finished. Look at the kingdom standards. It's when you break everything under the obedience of Christ. It says from verse 1, from verse 34, though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk war after the flesh. Many things to be said on that. All right. I didn't mean Pastor Fever is the one that is writing that. He wouldn't have used the word more. All right. So verse 4 said, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strong roads. What is strong roads? What is strong roads? Can anybody tell me what is strong roads? Strong roads. The mindset. It's really just mindset. Mindset of it is not finished. It's the mindset that gives the devil dominion over your life. Strong goals. Beautiful. Casting down imaginations. Now, that is what explained to you is a strong goal. Verse 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing. What is imagination? Imagination is your mind, the pictures of your mind. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that is so itself against the knowledge of God. So what is the knowledge of God? What is the standard of God? It is finished. You get it? Get me right? What is the knowledge of God? Because if religion reads it, you say knowledge of God, it is the standard of 
Now, look, let's read it again from verse 3. Now, we'll not get it. For though we walk in the, in the flesh, we live in a human body. We do not walk after the flesh. For oh, We do not walk after the flesh. What does it mean to walk after the flesh? Fasting and praying. Kicking and binding. Taking knives to church. Taking physical God correct. You know, you know, shouting, shouting as if he say, the louder you shout, the louder the devil hears and go. So that is worrying after the, even though we live in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. We do not war after the fallen nature of men. All right? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are not physical. They are not physical. They are not a physical thing. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strong. So the repose of our warfare is, is focused, not focused on the devil. I want you to get this. It's focused on your mindset. Are you understanding this? Okay, let me not focus on you, maybe whether you're understanding or not. He said, said the weapons of our warfare are my and the weapons of our warfare are not kind of mighty through God of the pulling down of stronghold. It's not the devil. Our, the, uh, our warfare is not a war against the devil. Yeah. It's a war against a, a, a mindset, a stronghold, a war against ignorance, yeah. a war against the, 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 what is happening to you, happening to you because of what you don't know. Ignorance is so expensive, very expensive, <laughs> very expensive. People have died because of ignorance. Yeah. But people perish for lack of knowledge, God said. Not because of the devil, the devil, the the devil hides behind, behind your, he has no power, he hides behind the lies that religion has told you. Religion is the greatest, is the greatest weapon of the devil over humanity. When they open your eyes and, and make you feel that God is, is against you, there is a power, power stacking this against your life. When they open your eyes to make you understand you are not good enough. When they open your eyes and make you to see devil everywhere, that is the power. They, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they are the instruments of, of, of the devil of our humanity. So the weapons, the weapons of our warfare is not towards the devil. The real enemy is your mindset. Jesus said you know the truth and the truth make, makes you free. Yeah. So the, the real enemy is the ignorance. Ignorant of the finished work of Jesus. Because the truth there is not the truth of, of what Apostle Paul said or Apostle Peter said. It's the truth of it is finished. It's the truth of it is finished. It's not the truth that your pastor told you. No. It's the truth of the standard of it is finished. You, the only truth that sets you free or makes you free is the truth of it is finished. The devil is defeated. Yes. There are some truths that don't set you. There are religious truths that bring you into bondage. So the Bible, Jesus said, the only way to know the truth is that it will bring freedom to you. Amen. So if it doesn't bring freedom, so it's not the truth. Yeah. Wow. It's not the truth. If you tell me here that the, the, the devil is powerful, it's not the truth. <laughs> there's a devil behind you. There's a devil behind your problem. That is not the truth. It's not that if, if after preaching to you now and you begin to see ah we need to fast, we need to pray everybody, that I didn't tell you the truth. Because the Bible said when you know the truth, you shall be free. Yes. Wow. Wow. When you know the truth, the outcome of knowing the result of knowing the truth is freedom. Yeah. So if it doesn't give you freedom, it's not the truth. Yes. It's not the truth. Yes. Yes. It's not the truth. And the word, the Bible used the word "dead truth." Means there are no other truth. The word, the word in English, the word "dead" is a, 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 is a definite article. It didn't say a truth. There's a difference between a truth and dead truth. It's talking about a person. His name is Jesus. It's talking about the finished work of Christ. There is no other truth that sets you free except Jesus and His finished work. The weapons of our warfare are not kind of, but they are mighty through God of pulling down of strongholds. Boy, the, the, what we're supposed to focus is on our mind. What we have been taught wrong. What you have been, the wrong mindset that have given you. That is the problem of your life, not the devil. There is no devil anywhere. The only devil that is fighting. 
There is no devil anywhere. Devil does not exist. He exists in, in the realm of it's not fit. He exists in the in the in the stronghold, in the in the wrong mindset. Yes. There's no. The Bible says God, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind. Amen. Sound mind. Jesus said, take my yoke upon me, my mind, and learn of me. You shall find rest unto your soul. This it is all you need, family. Knowledge. The knowledge of the finished work is all you need. It's all you need. It's all you need. When your mind changes, your life changes. When your mind changes, your life changes. That doesn't that the, the, the color of your mind will determine the color of your eyes. If your mind is evil, your eyes will see through evil. You'll be looking at something right, you are seeing evil. You don't see things based on how they are, you see things based on how you are. To him that is pure, all things are pure. So it's not about you. It's, it's not about the thing, it's about you. It's about you. The real problem is the mindset. And every other knowledge, every other meal shall bow to, to, the, to the revelation of Christ and it is finished. It is finished work. Every meal that has already bowed in your life. But I'm, I'm going to wrap it up for you to begin to understand how we, how what rest prayer is. Look at what he said. For, for the weapons of our warfare are not kind of mighty through God are pulling down every stronghold. Stronghold is that info, those information that the told you from, from, from when you were a child, it becomes your way of seeing, your way, it becomes a mindset. A mindset. When you come here, I'm telling you something that you've not, you've not heard before. You, you know, truth is not a truth because it, it has lasted for, for 100 years. No. A lie, lie can never be true, even if it is, if it is true to that, to 200 years. You get me? And I want to tell you, oh, the world has been living in lie all their lives. Religion is building the foundation of life. The foundation of humanity. The foundation of humanity. I, I can mention, okay, I don't want to mention that. Okay, look at this. He said, casting down imaginations and every high thing that they saw itself against the knowledge of God, against the standard of it is finished. And bringing into captivity every thought the obedience of Christ. Wow. Look at what it talks about stronghold, imagination, and thoughts. What is a thought? A thought is a thing that happens in the mind. So there is no devil in you. Anybody that says someone is possessed by the devil, possesses the devil, he cannot be possessed, the devil cannot live in you. It's just in the mind. In the, <laughs> when you, Jesus, the Bible, Jesus says that the Spirit of the Lord has come upon me, he has anointed me to, to, to minister or to, to preach deliverance to the captive. You know, Jesus did not, he, the, the deliverance is ministered to, is by the knowledge of the world. When the light comes into a darkness, it goes. No one is possessed by the devil, it's your mindset. No one. No one. So it's the thoughts. When, 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 when evil, when evil knowledge, when the knowledge of it is not finished, becomes a stronghold in your mind, becomes an, your, your imaginations and your thoughts. That is your problem. That is your problem. The Bible says our life is to cast, cast down, pull down strongholds. To, this, to cast down imaginations. And this is what is happening to you right now. By the, by, the, by the submission of the teaching of the word of God. Strongholds have been destroyed. Those evil, those evil informations in the name of religion that they, they, they minister to you have been broken. When you look at God, I remember when I used to look at God, I think that God is like one old man. One old man with white beards. And he's angry, angry at me. Whenever I do wrong, I know that it at my back, I don't want to look at him, he's angry already. Because that is a, that is a wrong mindset I've ever had about him. You know, look at the mindset of Adam. Adam, Adam ate the fruit and Adam became naked. And Adam had the voice of God calling Adam, where are you? Adam ran away from him. Because of, he had a wrong mindset of God. Because of his wrong mindset of God, he thought God is calling for 
for judgment. Whereby God was calling for reconciliation. He runs from who he should run to. That is what religion has done to you. He runs from who he should run to. He runs from who he should run to. Some of you, before you came here, you, can, you, can, you couldn't pray because your mind, your mouth is tight. Your, your, the stronghold in your mind told you that God will not answer your prayer because you are not good enough. Do you get me? You know, the, the, the evil knowledge that religion taught you, man, this, this God, you in a way that instead of you, you know, uh, that liberty to talk to your father was, uh, was denied of you. You're the wrong mindset because, you know, I didn't say some of you that go, still go to the club and drink. You said because I drink, I can't, I can't come to church. I can't, I can't, I can't talk to God and He's angry with me. That is the stronghold that you are meant to break. Imaginations in your minds that have robbed you. Many have died by Corona because of the strongholds in their minds. The devil is said to be so powerful in their life because of the strongholds, because of the imaginations, because of the religious thoughts. The Bible says we, our life is to bring every stronghold, put, pull it down. Bring it under the under the standard of it is finished. Bring every every knowledge. Begin to begin to go through all those knowledge, all those things you believe. All you people know this. Some verbal people think that now when this bed, there's a bed that cries. If it cries behind your house, someone is gonna die. If a strong one, pull it down. Begin to disagree from all this. This is a spiritual warfare. Do you get me? Yes. This is what I'm saying. Seems to be very simple, but it's a very if you get this formula, you have gotten the kingdom of God is being established in your life. It doesn't matter if your daddy know your, your, your mother knew about this is all you have had all your life. But, but if it is not on the standard of it, it is, it is, it is finished, it's a stronghold. Pull it down. Cast down every imagination. This is what is happening to me naturally. It doesn't matter, even if even a pastor or a bishop is preaching, you know where you are. Boy, you can't, that is a, that is a time. Under it is not finished. Under it, under, if it's below it is, it is finished, it is not God. It is not God. Everything I say, I, 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 I weigh everything based on the standard of the finished work. You cast down every every imagination, every thoughts. You bring them under the obedience of Christ. What is the obedience of Christ? It is finished. Bring everything to obey the finished work. Amen. Bring everything, everything under the finished. Amen. Under the finished work of Jesus. Yes. This is life. This is prayer. This is everything. You bring, you bring every situation. 2022, that it was the only thing. I remember when I, I was growing, knowing this revelation new. I used to be, I was a prophet and I used to tell people, I see, I see, I see death, I see death in your life. And God said you should pray for seven days to, cast in the, to, to cancel the death. You should fast and pray because I will be raised in fasting and praying. So we give people prescriptions, medical prescriptions. You should fast three days. Or oh, this one is two days. Six to twelve. Six to three. <laughs> we prescribe. We prescribe to people. <laughs> Fasting and praying. I will have been, will have been there. You know, they say, there's something I'm saying about your family, about your marriage. God says you should pray. Pray fasting. Three days. Three days fasting. Six to, six to three. Some people say three, seven days fasting. Six to twelve. And some people seven days passing, six to six. All those reps. So when I was growing up, when I, when this knowledge began to come up, I said, do, do, I begin to I begin to imagine how how naive and stupid we were. Okay, so I, I need to pray seven days fasting to cast the devil out. So the first day I will fast from morning to night. Every devil I buy there, buy that one did not work. The, until, until the second day. Up to the fourth, the third day. Now I'm going to see how, how, how did we have magnified the devil so much? No, I, I need to, I need to pray for seven days just to cancel death. Death, I see death in your life. For, okay, when I pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all through the day, the death did not cancel. And even they used to tell you that if you, if you fast, fast, 
26 days and you didn't complete the seven days, you have destroyed the prayers. <laughs> Even when not there, I was there. So I, I now imagine what, what kind of powerful is this devil that I will pray seven days, one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, and, and, and it, before the devil will bow. Ah, you see how, how religion is so. Oh, you just need, look at now, yeah, all of you are laughing. This thing is what is happening. 2022 is coming, was it in the next two, two weeks? But churches will start praying 40 days. For what? This is what it, the only, this is in the name of Jesus, every day bows. The only, the thing you have to use 40 days to do, you can, in only in your imagination, set up your life, bring everything under the feet of Jesus. Under the feet of it is finished right now. And it is done. It is done. Everything under the feet. Casting down every iman imagination and every every high things that are so distant against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought on top, under the obedience of Christ. That is what it is. That is spiritual life. That is what your life should be. That is what our life should be. <laughs> Amen. And I like this back to this every time. That is what our life should be. Everything, when situation comes your way, it is finished. So let's read this scripture and we just meditate this evening. Let's read this scripture. Colossians chapter chapter 3, verse 17. And the Bible says that whatsoever you do in word and in deed. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. I want you to read it again. It says, Whatsoever you do, in deeds and in words, do all in the name of Jesus. What does it mean in the name of Jesus? So does it mean you should be shouting Jesus, Jesus every time? If you are going to the toilet, you go to the toilet in the name of Jesus. Because that is how it's meant to be. Do all, whatever you do in deeds and in words. If you are driving, you drive in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When I was in, when I was in Christ, that is how, that was how you got it. That was how you got it. In Jesus, I go in the name of Jesus. I do this in the name of God, but that was not what it is. It's not, it's not what it means. It's not carnality. That is what that is carnality. No, the religion is in the realm of physicality. Religion is in the realm of physicality. What your mouth can say, what your hand can do, what your energy can do. But the truth there is that whatever you do, whatever you do in words or in deed, do it in the name of Jesus, giving thanks. God. Now, when you read the word giving thanks to God, you now found out what it means in the name of Jesus. Because <laughs> giving thanks to God means it is finished. When it is finished, what is left is thanksgiving. You understand, right? When it is finished, what is left? Giving thanks to God and a Father by Him proves to you in the name of Jesus, there means in the finished work of Jesus. I go in the name of Jesus. It is finished. Living a life in the finished work. You don't even need to say it's a mindset. You are in the you, you sleep in the finished work of Jesus. You wake up in the finished work. Everything is in the standard of it is finished. Do all in the name of Jesus. Bring everything under the finished work of Jesus. So when this becomes your mindset, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't care about what comes your way. That is a higher standard. That is a higher law in this life. That Jesus has established on our lives. So it doesn't matter coronavirus. It doesn't matter. Every name shall bow to this. Every name shall bow to the, to the finished work of Jesus Christ. So whatsoever you do, do it in the rain of it is finished. Live in the rain. In Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we have our being. It is finished should not be 
be an option. It should not be a chapter. I am in the season of it. It's finished. Okay, I am in the season of it. When I come to church, I remember it is finished. It should be a life. It should not be something you walk in and walk out. It should be a life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. It should be a, it should be the only way you see things. It should be the only way you respond to things. It should be a stronghold. When the, when the finished work of Jesus, when it is finished, becomes a mindset. Becomes a, there is no other way. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. You put off the mind of the world. That is the way the world sees life. That is the way religion sees everything. But that is the way God sees. And that is life. That is, it is finished. God sees through the eyes of the finished work. When God looks at you, he sees his son Jesus. He sees what Jesus has finished for you. Amen. So this is a mindset. You begin to see. You have, this is a way where you have no other way to see, but it is finished. Everything that happens, you have no other mind but the mind of it is finished. You have no other thought. You think through the mind, through the eyes of it, through the mindset of it is finished. It is finished, it's a thought, it's a word, it's an action, it's everything to you. Bringing everything under the finished work of Jesus. Divine, the, today's topic is divine life standard. The kingdom. Jesus established, the standard of it is finished. Anything that is below this standard is not divinity. And Jesus came to give us life in His fullness. He came to bring us from humanity to divinity. So this is the realm that we live. And what is prayer? Prayer is bringing everything, bringing every, every thought, every imagination under the obedience of it is finished. All you just need is just to change your mind. When I'm praying for people, that's why I just play, just play, pray for, I don't just need to, uh, this is so powerful, I don't want to go into that realm right now, okay? I don't want to go into that realm right now. Uh, all right. So, all you just need to see, you see, the Bible says, behold, all things are passed away. It says, all things are passed away, behold, all things all you need is to behold. The word behold is to see it. See through the eyes of it is finished. The same thing that happened, let me just end this and we just rest, we just meditate. Let's you, you practicalize this. This is not a realm of speaking, there is a realm beyond speaking in tongues. There's a realm beyond opening your mouth, shouting. It's a realm of casting down. It's a realm of bringing your, your mind under the finished work of Christ. Bring every thought, every imagination, everything, your family, your mother, your brother, your this, everything, every mouth in, under the obedience of Jesus. You know, when Adam ate that fruit and he, he became naked, he said, God told, told he said, hey, Adam, where are you? He said, I am naked. And God asked him, <laughs> God asked him a question. God, whatever, I don't want to go into that. God asked him another question. He answered another thing. But he said, I am naked. God, God asked me a question. Who told you you are naked? Okay, okay, okay look at what he said. Look, read that scripture where the Bible said, when Adam saw that he was naked, he went and used leaves to cover himself. The word saw there, his eyes was open. The word saw, that is prophetic. The word saw, his eyes was open to death. The same thing was what happened, what Jesus did. Yes. You guys are boring. This is so powerful. The same thing, there was a change of seeing. When Adam ate the fruit of death, he saw, his eyes was open, he saw that he was naked. Now, now the Bible said, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are passed away. Nothing happens. You fast 40 days and 40 nights, you don't see nothing. Until there is a 
change of mind. So that is what rest prayer is. Rest prayer is to see. You come into a sea through the eyes of it is finished. You see your life, you see your future, you see everything under the finished work of Jesus. So let's see right now. I want us to let's see. Let's count down every, cast down every imagination. Let's pull down every stronghold, every imagination, every thought under the obedience of it is finished. That is divinity. Bring every situation in your life under the finished work of Jesus. Is it sickness? Is it fear? Is it confusion? Bring it under the finished work of Jesus. Right now. Oh, hallelujah. This is so beautiful. This is so deep. It is finished, Jesus. Wow. If you open your mouth, then you've missed it. Let's use the imagination. Establish the kingdom of Jesus under your, your mindset. See. See. Behold. And when you are in this thing right now, God might, your, your spirit might be open. You begin to see maybe your mother, your father, your brother, your cousin, your friend, someone else. You begin to see them bring everything under the finish. Thank you, Jesus. Just like me right now, there's someone God showed me right now spiritually. The person is in the hospital right now. I bring that situation under the finish. I don't know this person. Life is spiritual, like family. Life is spiritual. But something God can, that your spirit can turn on to something. Someone you don't even know. You bring that situation under the finish. I want you to rest right now. Rest right now. Open your, your imagination on the, on the finished work of Jesus. On the finished work of Jesus. It is finished. It is, if there is a that are occurring in your family, bring it under the finished work right now. Bring it under the finished work right now. Bring, there is nothing to fear anymore. Any thoughts that comes on my way, I bring it under the finished work. That is what happens to me every day, every moment, every second. Any thoughts, I bring it under the finished work of Jesus. Any imagination, family, just cruise. Just establish this kingdom upon your life. Is that, that is the way to establish the kingdom. The standard of it is finished. Place it upon everything. I want you to enjoy this moment right now. This is so real. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. You are in this world, but you are not of, you are not of this world. You are in this system of the kingdom of God. The realm of it is finished. A realm beyond death. Bring everything under the finish. Work. See, see, it is finished. Over your child, over your mother, over everything, ever that situation. See, it is finished. Beyond what my mouth will say. I know your spirit is alive. It's beyond. Uh, you, you cannot see that your spirit is bigger than this world. Your spirit is so big, you can even cover this world right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You can even. Just the Spirit of the Lord may even lead you to bring the whole Namibia, the youths of Namibia, under the finished work. Because there is this satanic spirit that has possessed this environment. Bring them under the finished work of God right now. Bring worldliness, ungodliness, religion. Ah, I said, you see how powerful your spirit is. Your spirit just gathering them like, a, like peppers, pepper, bringing them together under the feet of the cross. It is finished, Lord. Uh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Bring 2022 under the finished work of Jesus. And this thing you are doing now is more than any fasting and praying you can ever do. More than any mountain you can ever climb. It is finished. Bring everything under the... Every new shall bow. Uh, every tongue shall confess Jesus. Jesus is the Lord. It is finished. It is finished. Wow, so beautiful. So beautiful. 
That's so beautiful. So he said, whatever you do in words and in deed, do all in the name of Jesus. Give him thanks unto the Father. So when you bring everything in, under the finished work of Christ now, your spirits will be, will be gladdened. That is this thanksgiving because you know it is finished. Because you know it is sadness will just leave your, 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 your emotions right now. Because you see through the eyes of it is finished. You see through the eyes. There is hope being restored. There is hope now. There is hope. There is, you know that family, okay, I want us to do this together. Bring the world, bring the whole world under the feet of it is finished. I want you to do it because I want you to experience something. I want you begin to experience there is hope. There is hope in this life. You begin to experience that you don't need to be raptured. Raptured out of this world to be saved. Bring just let, let's do it now. Bring the whole world. Because your spirit is so big. Bring the whole world under its finish. Under the cross. See the whole world while we to the finished work of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I feel your presence, oh God. I feel your presence. There's one, one lady, one pastor lady, she's a pastor of children in one church around here. So she was telling me she's so afraid of the, 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 the next generation, the kids. But because the world is going to be so bad, the world is going to be so, she's so, she's so afraid of what is going to happen to this, this kids that are getting better. I said, no, child. The world is going to be better than how we see it right now. Many shall come into the deeper revelation of God. The world shall be covered. The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. As the world covers the sea. I want you to see the world right now under the finish. Under the feet of Jesus. See the world, family. I want you to experience this. You will see that there is, the, the, there is a greater light ahead. There is a greater glory ahead. See it. See. See the world. See beyond coronavirus. See beyond the, the, the wickedness of this world. See the, see everything under the feet under the feet of it is finished. See right now, and you see, you see beauty. You see glory. Wow. God said, oh, on the last day I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. But all flesh. I want to oh, let us experience, let's enjoy this moment. Enjoy seeing through the eyes of it is finished. Seeing through the eyes of it is finished. Father, it is finished, God. And when you do that, there is a rest. All these questions in your life. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this? When you bring all this in order, it is finished right now. There will be rest in your heart. Purely rest. Wow, something happened to me today. I brought it under the feet. Immediately there was a rest. It wasn't about me to worry. Jesus said, you know, behold the earth, the, the best of the earth. They sow not, they reap not, they gather not in fact. But your heavenly father takes care of them. When you bring everything under it is finished, you, 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 the body is removed from you. You know that Jesus has carried my body. You know, it is it is under the finished work, under the responsibility of Jesus. You you feel light. You feel free. You feel rest. Jesus said, come to me. You that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. When you see through the eyes, see that situation, family. Feel, experience this kingdom that is happening right now. When you see right, you will feel right. When you see right, you will feel right. Thank you, Father. Thank you for, I see through the eyes of it. Family, see, and this is <laughs> So beautiful. Many things to be said. Yeah. Many things. Beautiful things I'm seeing. Beautiful things. What he is the Lamb. We love you, God. Every knee has bowed in my life. There is no death on my path. There is, all I see is life. All I see is grace. All I see is beauty. God is absolutely come through. All things are working together for my good. All things. All things. There is no death before me. There is only life. There is no evil before me. It's only it is finished. Thank you, God. You know, when, when you see this way, what we happen is thank you, God. What we happen is thank you, God. The spirit of thanksgiving happens to you.
There is no true worshippers until you have a spirit of it is finished. Because only the spirit of it is finished will produce true worshippers. Religion has no true worshippers. Until they come to the revelation of it is finished, there will never be any true worshippers. I would like us to sing that simple song that this young lady sang today because it's purely as simple and, you know, cannot thank you enough. For what you have done. So John, you will play it and she will sing it over there. You know, but let us keep enjoying, just play it and sing it softly, thinking as we many things. Blessed be your name, God. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Thank you. 
finished. Thank you for the rest of meditation. Thank you for your goodness and mercy for those who are the days of our lives. We love you, Jesus.